beautiful walk this morning the whole way along the canal to Anne Frank's house and um, we've booked tickets for 9.15 to 9.30 um, so from 9.15 until 3.30 p.m. it's booked tickets only and then after that you just turn up and you can buy tickets on the door but during that time you can't oh my glasses are falling off um, so what we thought what we'll do is we'll just book them on Sunday night we looked on the website to see what's available and this was the only slot available for two people not just one person so if you are looking to go to Anne Frank's house I definitely recommend just booking the tickets online because um, it's pretty easy to do it's only nine euros and then a 50 euro cent each like booking fee yeah so it works out really well look at my glasses this is ridiculous We're walking to Anne's Frank, Anne Frank's house, like I said. We're walking everywhere we do on most trips. But guys, seriously, if you're traveling to a new city, try not to get taxis because it really kind of takes away from you learning where, what's where and which way you're going and actually seeing the real things. If you can walk to most places, and in Amsterdam you definitely can, um, then do because that way you really see everything. And you see like the buildings, you see the locals going to and from work. It's the best way to kind of learn and see a city, I think. So we've got to Anne Frank's house. The queue is quite long, so it's good to put our tickets already. Um, I don't think it's opened yet, I think it's about to open. But we'll show you guys what it looks like. That was really good, we definitely recommend it. You can't film inside, which is fine. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys anything. So you're just gonna have to come yourself and see it for yourself. But you've got to go up into the attic and see all the original bookcase. They had um, original copies of her diary and things like that. So it was done really well and I definitely recommend going. I'm just gonna show you the outside of the front door of the original house now. I've heard amazing things about this. I didn't think we we're going to be going just because we're only here for a little bit, but apparently it's got thousands and thousands of bags. They've even got Margaret Thatcher's handbag in there, which is very cool. We'll have to come back and go. Okay, we're having lunch at this place, the Pancake Bakery. So Holland are famous for their pancakes. Um, in London, we have a place called Mild Dutch, which we're guessing is based upon Dutch pancakes. And apparently, like in the old days, they would live off of pancakes and things like that so yeah we're really excited to have them we love pancakes and there's a really nice seating area on the canal so we'll sit there okay so it was a little bit of waiting time how long do you think half an hour yeah half an hour yeah but it looks absolutely amazing it's worth the wait and we're not in a rush so yum oh my gosh just an update guys this is the best prep i've ever had i got it with ham and cheese and i put some maple syrup on it um which i know seems a bit strange but wow it's amazing Wow, that lunch was seriously delicious. Definitely recommend it. It's down the road from Anne Frank's house, but the service wasn't great. We did have a good wait and two people who were sitting near us orders got completely forgotten. So if you're in a rush, maybe go with lots of plenty of time or go after Anne Frank's house like we did. Um, so we loved it. Really yummy. You like it, Alan? Yeah. Really good. And now we're going down to some shops. There's these really cool shops here, like concept stores and things like that. So we're gonna spend the afternoon shopping and then I think later, um, we're gonna get bikes either later today or early tomorrow. We'll see how we go for time. What's been your highlight of the trip so far? Um, I don't know. I, I, liked, I liked Anne Frank's house. Yeah. That was really good. Um, I think it's just kind of um, absorbing the atmosphere. Yeah, like I think yeah, the, the shops culture. here are so cool. Yeah. Really impressed with the shops so far. 
good shopping in Amsterdam. So we stumbled across this store called Lux Vintage. So we're gonna go and have a browse in there. I went in the market to buy anything too expensive, but it's always fun to look. Um, I'm not sure what street this is called. Do you know, Alan? No. No, I'll try to see if this shop's worth going to. I'll let you guys know. Okay, here's the name of this shop. They have amazing pieces in there for really good prices. So I definitely recommend it if you're looking for that kind of thing in Amsterdam. Okay, we've come to this place called Skins Cosmetics. Um, one of you guys told me about this place, so thank you for the recommendation. We're going to go in now. It looks like this have everything possible to smell. Okay, I've just checked my Instagram so I can double check your name. So Ruvan, thank you so much for this recommendation. We're in Skin Cosmetics now. It's incredible. Look at this Frederick Miles section. This by Rido section. And then they've got so much Hermes, Creed. It's honestly incredible. Thank you so much for this recommendation. Me and Alan are in heaven. We've also got all the Lalabos here. Let me show you guys which one I would recommend. So, Patchouli is my favourite. Then I would say Santal 33. Tea Noir is delicious. It's like a sweet, spicy tea. And then Bergamot, that's amazing on Alan's skin, love that. And which one else? I just smell iris, which is really nice, but it might not be everyone's cup of tea. And then vetiver is one I've been wanting to try on for a while. The shop is so good. show you those on his channel he's vlogging as well so i'll link his channel below and i'm worried that something's like bitten or stung me on my lip because i can't see here if it's red oh it is something definitely yeah, stung red, me yeah. yeah and it stings so at the start of our trip yesterday alan got stung by a wasp on his finger and i don't know what's happened to me in the last 10 minutes but it hurts okay so i'm not sure what area we're in guys i'm sorry i'm being the worst tour guide um with that it's so hard to pronounce these words as well but alan says the street we're on is single so hopefully i'm saying that right um i never want to offend anyone with my terrible language um but this street is incredible oh my god i'm so in love with this city seriously you have to come here i'm almost trying to like not vlog things so that you have to come and see it for yourself rather than me just spoiling it and showing you everything but it's amazing like just look at these houses oh my god they're so narrow and quaint and perfect just popping into market to get a drink this place looks quite cool i think it's like whole foods i guess it smells like whole foods <laughs> oh, i'm so thirsty guys we have been walking around the shops for a very long time definitely need a drink in the market they've got this cool wall with all these lights so being kind of one you can see them up here there we go. So if you come to Market M A R K T, I believe it is M A Q T M A R Q T M A R Q T in Amsterdam, then um, take a picture of these if you see them and send me a picture on Instagram. It's that easy in the city. Then what? Prinsengracht. 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 Okay, guys. So we're still shopping. Um, although so far we haven't bought anything else apart from Alan got some sunglasses. That place is busy. Okay, so um, that's the area we're in, what I said earlier, Princeton Grant. And yeah, the shops here, as I keep saying, are amazing. We've seen a lot of things we've liked, but not loved enough to kind of splurge or to treat ourselves. Um, Alan fell in love with some trousers, which I think we might go back and get. He's thinking about those because they looked really good. Um, oh, it's so bright. And yeah, now we're just walking around this area. It's meant to be really great for shops. So we'll see what we find. So if you guys know By Lady M on, uh, she used to make YouTube videos on our Instagram. She um, recommended this place to us. So it's all you can eat is sushi. And we really felt like, because it's been so hot, some sushi. So we'll see how it is. It looks really good. So 26 euros for all you can eat. That's pretty good. Let's go inside. 
Okay, so here's just a snippet of what we've got so far. We've already eaten salmon sashimi and salmon avocado maki. And now I've got a salmon avocado roll. We've got some gyoza. We've got more things coming and we're going to order some chicken teriyaki soon too. Hi guys, so that sushi was amazing. Definitely recommend Suma Sushi. It's 26 euros for like all you can eat sushi. And it's really good. Like I've never done all you can eat sushi before. So normally I'm kind of like counting up my bill as I go along enjoying my sushi whereas it was nice to just kind of not have to do that, know what we're paying and eat as much as you want so that was great um, and it was delicious but what I think I might do is because tomorrow's our last day in Amsterdam but I think it might be a chilled one we might just cycle around I don't know if there's much we'll be doing that's worth showing you guys so I don't think I'm gonna vlog um, but hopefully you've enjoyed these two days and I will see you in a vlog very soon